Hello neighbors, this is Jessica in communications for the city of Battle Creek and welcome back to a city commission regular agenda preview for Tuesday, November 21st. If you're new to these agenda preview videos or you need a reminder about the different parts of our agendas, check out the link to our introduction video down in the description box. You can follow along with the agenda on our website, battlecreekmi.gov, visit the Your Government tab, Mayor and City Commission, then Agendas, Minutes, and Videos. Click under Online Agenda for the date of the agenda you want to see, and you'll get this pop-up that we are about to go through together. The regular City Commission meeting starts at 7 p.m. in the Commission Chambers at City Hall, which is up on the third floor. Back from the pandemic hiatus, the commission will present six beautiful Battle Creek Awards to neighbors and businesses. The nominations for these come from the neighborhood planning councils for properties that neighbors and business owners have improved or kept nice, helping make their neighborhoods welcoming and vibrant. You can learn more about the neighborhood planning councils at battlecreekmi.gov NPC. The commission will consider two ordinance introductions. If they choose to approve these, the ordinances will come back on a future commission agenda for a final vote. Ordinance 18, 2023 would consider changing our property tax law by adding a section to give a payment in lieu of taxes or pilot to a housing development known as station side lofts. This development is proposed at the Dolliver building site, 135 North Washington Avenue near our fire station too. It would have 60 units. We're talking about pilots a lot lately on commission agendas, as many housing developments are moving through these processes in the city. And again, a pilot is basically a tax exemption for a housing development. Ordinance 19, 2023 is similar. It would consider changing our property tax law by adding a section to give a pilot, or again, a tax exemption for a housing project to the development known as Manchester Place. This development is planned at the former Bronson Behavioral Health Facility, known as the Fieldstone Site at 165 North Washington Avenue. This one will be a three apartment building, 20 units each, adding to our affordable housing stock. The commission will consider one ordinance adoption the commission approved introducing this at the November 7th regular meeting, so this is the final vote on this item. Ordinance 17, 2023 would consider amending the city's property tax law to provide a tax exemption specifically for workforce housing. If this is put into place, then individual projects for workforce housing, payment in lieu of taxes projects, those pilots like the two we just discussed, can be considered by the commission. Next, the consent agenda for November 21st includes minutes from a previous meeting, the city manager's report for the evening, the ambulance report for October, and resolutions 290 to 294. And here's a quick rundown of what those are. 290 considers the sale of a vacant city-owned property off of First Street. 291, 292, and 293 Consider appointing and reappointing members to city committees and a neighborhood planning council. And 294 considers appointing Springview Tower as a business member to neighborhood planning council number two, the North Central NPC. And next we have the regular resolutions 295 to 300. Reso 295 considers accepting the best value proposal for labor and employment law services from Schiffman Fournier. We work with a labor attorney related to the city's union contracts and other issues as needed. We did have an employee relations director on staff until 2014, and that person handled uh, these types of issues, but we have contracted for those services since then. Reso 296, considers revised pricing in the contract the city has with the Calhoun County Animal Center, which recently changed owners. We will pay the shelter approximately $470,000 in the current year 
up to $545,000 in 2026 27. And at that time, we will need a new contract between us. Reso 297 considers setting a public hearing during the December 5th City Commission meeting to review and receive the public comments made on our Recreation Department's Master Plan Update. And that's a guide for our recreation activities for the next five years. If you haven't had the chance to take a look at that draft yet, you can still find it in the City Spotlight section of our homepage. You have until November 26th to offer your feedback. Reso 298 considers directing our city assessor to prepare a special assessment for the Dickman Road Business Improvement District Renewal Project. This is the second of four resolutions in this process, which look to continue to maintain and improve the district of Dickman Road from M66 to the city limits. And the project cost is estimated at $310,555. Reso 299 considers a contract for routine service and repairs to the instruments and controls at the city's wastewater treatment plant to Oudbeer Instrument Company at a maximum cost of $137,795 over three years. We have worked with this company for over 30 years to do this work and would like to continue. Reso 300 considers allowing the city to enter a purchase agreement for the sale of the former Dolliver Building site at 135 North Washington Avenue to the developer Pivotal GP Holding LLC for the housing development we mentioned earlier in the agenda called the Station Side Lofts. And that's everything on the agenda for the November 21st regular city commission meeting. For more information and to see more detail and documents related to each of these agenda items, please check it out online or get a paper copy in the city clerk's office at City Hall. Thanks for joining me for the City Commission Agenda Preview for November 21st, 2023. Watch the City Commission live or as replays on the City of Battle Creek, Michigan YouTube channel and get connected with your City of Battle Creek.